talk about the uh, Marine Robot Pavilion in Yaozu uh, ah. 2012 Expo, right? That's the right. Um, these robots are not just in medicine, but as you can see, uh, there are many robots that will help us in our daily lives. Expo 2012 Yosu is a world festival drawing 105 countries from all over the world. Here, there is one exhibit that has captured the global imagination, the Marine Robot Pavilion, where present and future are showcased through the most sophisticated robots. The Marine Robot Pavilion features 73 robots from four countries, namely Korea, the United States, France, and England. The most popular robot among children is Charlie. <laughs> Charlie is a 153 centimeter tall robot that has the ability to learn. He can talk, walk, and even run by itself. It's very difficult to develop technology to make a robot of this size walk because it's tricky to get it to maintain balance. It's a big robot, but it can walk and do other motions while walking. The highlight of the exhibit is the giant robot Navy, towering 6.5 meters high and weighing one ton. The name of the robot comes from the word navigator. It is a robot that explores the sea floor and collects minerals and other various resources. In the deep sea zone, Visitors will be able to see robots active in a virtual sea floor, 6,000 meters deep. It's a virtual representation of what could happen in the near future. The deep sea zone was created with the idea of trying to show what the future could look like, say in 2040 or 2060, when robots do work in the deep sea. The welder Seabot welds boats together. and collect Seabot brings together the minerals from the deep sea. The energy robot provides natural power. And the drill robot burrows into the ground to collect resources. A fish robot swims freely through the waters here. It's Firo, a robot made with acrylic and reinforced plastic. And it gets its name from the words fish and robot. Throughout the expo, Firo will be dancing through the aquarium. It took quite a bit of trial and error to create Firo. A robot that would work underwater required perfect waterproofing and a strong, compact interior. Firo was the first successful fish robot in Korea. In the future, we will have to collect resources from the sea. To use ocean wind power, we must install cables underwater. Eventually, we will have to figure out where certain cables have been cut off, where problems occur. We can use the Firo 7 fish to diagnose these problems. There are also many robots that can dance. Miro gives about 20 performances a day. The French humanoid robot, Now, showed off his dance moves on top of his ability to feel and communicate. The Korean Robonova captured the hearts of young girls at the exhibition with crisp, synchronized movements. They were able to get through many dynamic movements without a single mistake. This was really amazing. It was, I've never seen something before, especially the, the robots were dancing. That was so cool because it's so difficult to program them that they don't fall down and move. And it was really cool. Evar, the humanoid robot, was also the center of attention with her diverse facial expressions. Evar could express happiness, boredom, and anger with ease. On one side of the exhibit, the robots were engaged in their own World Cup. Before the match began, the robot cheerleaders began their cheers.
soon, a three-on-three -three match between Darwin Ops, robots that play soccer, began. The Darwin Op can play offense, defense, and even do ball tricks. The game was full of excitement. Inside here is the camera which has the sensor that perceives the light and turns it into a digital image. So earlier I was working on what's called the color table. I was programming the colors that Darwin recognizes, and what shades of blue mean are the goal, what shades of red are the ball. So I was pro reprogramming that in for Darwin. Uh, I think the, the soccer was really fun to watch, the uh, little robots on the field. I think it's amazing uh, what kind of technology there is, and uh, they're showing the applications for the future in the last one with the, with the very large robot working underwater, so I think it's exciting. Maddie, which one was your favorite robot? I'm um, a pink one robot, my favorite. That's your favorite? The Marine Robot Pavilion will be a fantastic party with 73 of the world's most advanced robots. It is a demonstration of the possibilities that Korean technology has for the future, as well as a celebration of the advancements in robotic technology, not only in Korea, but also the United States, France, and England.